Hello chess fans, this is Chess Gold with another famous position from the history of the game. A position you really must know if you call yourself a chess fan. This is Alexander Kotov versus Miguel Nydorf from the Candidates Tournament in Zurich in 1953. Kotov is white, Nydorf is black and it's the 18th of October 1953. This is the move, this is the position after King C6 from Black. And as you can see, Black is two exchanges up. He has two rooks for two knights, and White has two pawns as compensation. Plus the fact that there is not so much material on the board anymore, and that is always well, not always, but in this case, that is in the uh, that is um, in the advantage of the person who's defending, who's trying to make a draw. Also, the remaining pawns for black are not very strong. Pawn on e4 is hanging and also h7 is not a very strong pawn. So, black is better, but coat of white has drawing chances. Let's fast forward to the position after the 44th move from white, knight g7 check, and knight of played king e7. In the meantime, the position is drawn. As you can see, white still has a two pawns compensation for the two exchanges, but the big difference is that the black pawns have gone, and black cannot win his position, even though he has the material advantage and Two rooks. Two rooks are very strong, of course, but he cannot win this. The knights will be able to defend this. Knight f5 check, king e6, and coat of plate g6, g7, threatening to promote. Rook a8 to cover the promotion square, and then knight e to g3. Knight of plate rook g8 and coat of plate knight h5. It's still a, a dead draw, nothing's happening here. And neither of then decided on a humorous finish. He played rook takes f4 check, sacrificing the rook for a pawn. King takes f4, and then he sacrifices other rook for the other pawn. Rook takes g7, and after knight h takes g7, neither thought he was he had um, done something very funny, because, as we all know, mating with two lone knights versus a king is not possible. If black does not cooperate, there is no way to checkmate the black king in this case. So by giving away his two rooks for the two pawns he thought that's the way to make a draw in a funny way and at this moment he said draw. But Kotov refused. Nydorf jumped up from his chair exclaiming that he, wa that he won 40 international tournaments and now Kotov was trying to mate him with two knights. Then Kotov calmly explained that Siberian amateurs had recently worked out a way to mate with two knights by force. Nidor first went white in his face, then exploded with rage, and the arbiter had to come to calm him down. Then, of course, Kotov accepted the draw with an even bigger smile on his face than Nidor had when he sacrificed his two rooks for the two pawns. Such was the reputation of the Soviet chess machine that neither of could believe in the supernatural powers of Siberian amateurs, if only for a brief moment. Hope you enjoyed this, another funny story with a position from the history of the game. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so you will be notified when I post my next video. This is Chess Gold. Thank you for watching.